Hey everyone, so I'm here with my um, new male eclectus and I'm doing some um, bonding work or like um, getting to know each other work to make him more calm. So I thought I would share a few tips on this, like if you've gotten a new rescue or your first bird and you want to learn like how to first go about interacting with them, the best thing is to take them into a small room um, where they're safe. If you're in the bathroom, put the toilet cover down. Make sure there's no sharp things or toxic things out. And then um, you can sit close to them, eye contact, um, speaking or cooing to them to get them comfortable with your voice. Um, there's a lot of different things you can do start that socialization process um also offering treats is really good i have some nuts for him which um which he adores there's some almonds pistachios cashews and walnuts um generally pretty high fat foods that you don't want to um utilize too much but for bonding moments like this, something really tasty will be more intriguing to your bird than um, something that might be a little less gotta have it. So here's my boy. He's starting to sit more calmly now, which is really good. Um, I did have him on my hand and actually um, up against my chest, and I was just doing some you know, cheek stroking on his back, and he tolerated that. Um, definitely not comfortable with hands. When I tried to reach for him, he, he will start breathing panicky and trying to get away. And um, he isn't flighted. He came from the rescue um, with his wing feathers cut, and I'm not a proponent of cutting wings. I don't like it. I don't really think they should be able to fly. Um, so again, that's another good reason to be in a small room with them, um, with him. It's not so much an issue, but if you have a bird that isn't flighted, then one of the concerns is if they fall. Um, they have very delicate bones. They're essentially hollow and don't weigh much and that's because they need to be in order for the bird to be able to fly easier so if he were to fall hard when he thought he had wings it could um, break his breastbone which is called a keel different injuries that can happen so it's important to be careful that's one really good reason for a small room yeah you getting curious now so I thought I'd also take this opportunity to show that um, that beak injury is almost entirely healed. He had a big chunk of beak that was almost sticking up about maybe a 45-50 degree angle. And that's fallen off now. So he's still got some visible damage, but he's definitely on the mend. Step is getting him um, used to my hand, so I'm just putting it near him, challenging him just enough, but not scaring him into a frenzy. So I'm just leaving my hand there for him to watch and see that it's safe. The biggest thing with socializing a new bird is patience. You want to make all of your movements very slow and speak very calmly. Offer lots of treats. I gave him some nuts. I've got some banana for him now. You don't want to grab him or force him. You just slowly approach. And a lot of birds will test you by making a threatening beak strike but will not actually bite you it's a testing thing 
and um, you may get bitten in the beginning, that's kind of a fact, but you don't want to jerk away because that will encourage them. So the point is to, to let, get them to know the sound of your voice, you're going to want to talk to them constantly, and get to see that you're not a threat. And then if breathing returns to normal, and they seem calm, you can move a little closer. So I'm going to just put my hand out in a step-up position for him. Come up. Once come up, sweet boy. So this is actually progress in the past. Um, if I would reach for him at all this close, he would panic. So you're getting to see. I'm not going to hurt you, sweet boy. Yeah. Come on. So I'm actually stroking his toes right now with a finger, just letting him know my touch is gentle and I don't want to hurt him. I'm just going to start petting his breast a little bit. Hi, sweet boy. Hello. Hello. Now, a stepping up gesture is putting a little pressure mid-keel, kind of where I'm stroking now. He's thinking about it, he's not sure what to think. But he's not panicking, so this is progress. Yeah, this is progress. Okay, now he's not biting me, he's kind of testing a little bit. I'll stop petting. You okay, little one? You okay? So, do you want to try coming up? Not yet. So I've turned my hand up from a flat position to a perching position for him. And just that shape change seems to have agitated him a little bit. So I'm not going to proceed until his breathing has returned to normal. You're okay, sweetheart. To be scared of. I can hear him breathing a little hard now. I'm not gonna hurt you. Mama loves you. Mama loves you, baby boy. Yeah. So, this is pretty much. Um, the closeness steps. Eventually, if I can stroke his keel without him getting angry, then I may put some pressure and work on getting him to stand on my hand, at which time I would remain still, let him just sit there. And really, if you are calm, it relaxes them a lot. Um, if you're agitated or afraid, they will pick up on that. So make sure you are in a calm and loving and open state when you approach a new bird. And I will let you see stage three when I get to it. Bye, guys.
So, as you can see, progress. He's a little bit, um, unsure about my phone, but he's doing really well. And I've also discovered he's much more comfortable, um, with my face than he is with my hand. So I'm doing a lot of head stroking, and I'll see if I can show you guys what I'm talking about with that. Turn this bring him close under my chin and just do little head strokes. Oh, sweet boy. Oh. Your little kisses. Yeah. Oops. Not very well. Not dead. Look better. Will they feel more secure if you have them up against your chest? And um, again, he's much more comfortable with my face than with my hand. So I'm just going to focus on little strokes with my cheek for him. Yeah. And little head kisses. So he's doing very well for our first bonding session. Actually, I guess this is technically the second. The second was just in the same room without any advance efforts, but you can see that he's calm, he's stopped hyperventilating, he's relaxing now, which is an excellent sign. So this is progress. He's a good boy. Hmm. suspect he's going to be a very lovely boy in the end. There you have it. Progress with a new boy. Yeah. Yes, my sweetheart. Yes, sir. Aren't you a sweet boy? Yeah, we're doing well. Talk to you guys later.